So today we're going to talk about Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons. So yeah, I picked up this book because I, I've heard a lot of friends talk about how, how great it is. I always steered away from whenever a cartoon series does uh, a comic book series afterward, because usually it's, by, it's done by different writers um, and it's just not the same. And sometimes it's not even can uh, in canon. So I'm like, what's the point, you know? But uh, so I picked this up and I have to say, I enjoyed the book immensely. Um, the, the humor is on point. The, the Dungeons and Dragons references are, are amazing. They, they go to all the editions, um, except for fourth. We don't talk about fourth. <laughs> the unproduct. <laughs> um, but it's, it's basically the story is, is that um, uh, Morty wants to learn to play Dungeons and Dragons because um, uh, a cute girl has invited him to play a rogue. But he's never played Dungeons and Dragons before, so um, uh, Rick tries to show him the ropes. But Rick is a power gamer, uh, of he so is. he's he's learning things and and not enjoying the experience. Right. And then his father <laughs> uh, happens to love D and D, <laughs> and so he starts teaching him the ropes. And then they, uh, with a couple of twists and turns, suddenly they're stuck in a forgotten realms world where it's actually very real <laughs> and they're, they're trying to survive and um and i have to say that, yeah the comedy is great but um i i like the what i'm trying to spoil too much i really like some of the great points of the story that you know it's all about having fun when you're role playing all right yeah you know it's not about trying to be the the best player or um uh having the, the strongest character or the, the fast character it's about if you enjoy your character and enjoying the flaws of your character as well sure but i course. thought that was pretty amazing yeah. um what i also like about this book is that at the end if you sort of enjoyed what they have there they have a, a mini adventure in the back <laughs> um it is called temple of glorb okay glorb 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 glorb, glorb. <laughs> don't want to get my nonsense syllables mixed up <laughs> <laughs> the Temple of Glorb is the adventure in the back, um, and uh, so yeah, you could you know you could play something that, that the writers have not not the writers but the writers of the comic book series have have made. Um, yeah, it's a good book. I I, I again I'm not into um, cartoon series that I'm into comic books. They, they usually let me down, but this really surprised me. This is a fantastic adventure. So there's characters in the back. So if you enjoyed what they played, you could play that in the adventure in the back as well. Okay. Or in any setting that your dungeon master will allow you to. Sure, sure. Yeah, there's also some nice art in the back as well. Nice artwork. Particularly the um, the mashup where they drop, they drop the Rick and Morty characters into yeah. just straight D&D &D work. So yes, you can find this at um, the gaming store. I found this at uh, GameStop uh, for sale. And um, yeah, yeah. If you have any questions or co comments, let me know in the in you know in the video below. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.